Hey guys, it's Lego God here, and today I have a video on this cool little Lego tank. You can see how big it is here compared to my hand, and I think this is a pretty cool tank, and I really like it, and I think it's pretty fun. So I'll go over the cool features of it right now. It's actually turned on, turned off. So you can see here in back, there's this big, complicated looking gearing setup, and this is actually a subtractor. So what this does is it takes a drive input, which I have an XL motor here, and a steering input, which is this L motor here, and the drive is on one stick, and then the steering is on another. And with this, if you use throttle and steering, it will turn in an arc. Now, depending on the speed of your steering motor, that arc will be larger or smaller. Because an L motor is pretty fast, I had to gear it down, and it's still a pretty tight arc, but it's pretty cool. So, I'll turn it on here, and it also has something special on the front. Uh, so I'll turn it on. You can see here's the throttle. So it's not super fast, but it's fast enough. And I'll drive it here, and I'll turn it in arc to the right. And I'll turn it around. So you can see here with this subtractor, when you use both this is just throttle, and then when you use the steering motor, just pinched my finger in the gears, that was smart. When you use the steering motor, you can see one track goes faster than the other. So, there's that, and also on the front, I actually have a turret. So I'll point at the camera and <laughs> you can see it fires this little dart. Go this way so you can see here that mechanism. I'll reload the dart. So that's all the way down, and then when you go up, the little trigger hits this piece here and then it fires. And you can see there the dart's fired, <coughs> it fires, and it's pretty cool. And then you can lower it back down, and there's that. Now, for suspension on this tank, I wasn't so worried about travel, so I used torsion bar suspension, and you can see that it works pretty well. I like it, and you can see there the torsion bars, all those. So, that's this tank with the subtractor, and I think it's pretty cool. And now I have another little vehicle, and it's a small one. In the last video, I said I would make a better version of the tiny little tank I had, and this is that better version. You can see it still has the M motors for drive, but it's longer, so it doesn't tip. You can see it won't flip itself, and the battery box is oriented vertically with the receiver in back. So. For these vehicles, I have a little test behind my board here. I'll slide this up. Alright, that's pretty good. So, I'll do the little tank first. It's off to the left. So I'll drive it over the obstacles. So you can see it handles it pretty well. I'll just go over it a little bit more. see there it got stuck. So I'll grab that and let's try the big tank now. I think this will be better. Alright, so here we go. Gonna start off to the left again. This steering actually takes quite a while to get used to for me, so it's kind of confusing. But you can see there, that's this big tank, and there you go. So I got a little tank and a big tank. But that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more.